Jaden, who prefers to go by the name Jaden, has 200,000 subscribers and she kind of runs an overall commentary, more like a news YouTube channel, covering drama in the Minecraft and YouTube scene. And her content, I've come to terms with and I've understood because I used to think it was just terrible content and it still is. But I understand a lot more now that there's a space for that and some people enjoy it. And you know what, just for news videos, she does an alright job of covering those situations and announcing the news to people. And a lot of people hate her for stretching the video or having the same thumbnail each time and like a lot of emphasis is put on these points but they don't really mean anything like as long as she's not faking news and constantly brings out the news and giving it to people who obviously want to see her content i hate this guy Jalen for different reasons just because she's like she's very dumb it's like she thinks she's the price but she's just the discount anyways with all of that said timestamps are in the description somewhere enjoy the video you make me mad you do not know the way sir you do not know the way and i'm gonna show you the way the way to your death i won though i did it look i won again and i'm a, I'm a murder i'm a murder I'm gonna commit massive murder. Oh no, this guy's gonna kill me. Or not. Get jittered. Get jittered. A while ago, YouTuber Lyrix made a video criticizing Jalen called Why I Don't Like Jaden, and he mentioned a ton of really good points, and then Jalen proceeds to comment, This video violates YouTube's terms of service. Good luck keeping your channel. And another comment which reads, I've never false flagged anyone. These are false claims. Your videos just break the YouTube terms of service. And replies to a tweet saying the video is literally harassment and bullying, even though the video has nothing to do with harassing and bullying Jalen. How do these channels blatantly break the YouTube terms of service and not get banned? Also, this isn't the only video she's false flagged because she shows a screenshot of her flagging history on YouTube and I'm not sure why she did this but she did. Why I don't like Jaden by lyrics. This is harassing me. How to commentary 101 by iCrazy. This is harassing me. Jaden is a by Max BT show which is obviously a troll video and this is harassing me. By flagging that specific video, you literally fell for the troll video because the video is obviously a joke. The videos Jalen reported for harassment, I watched them all and I can confidently say that none of them are harassing Jalen. It's literally an mp4 file uploaded to a website called YouTube. How can you get offended over that? There's no cyberbullying and there's no harassment in it. If you're really that concerned, then what about this tweet telling sensitive society to kill himself? She's very insecure because she gets criticized in multiple videos but then has the audacity to make these tweets. Hashtag Hitler2024 Top 1 slur in 2021 Nig Watching the Hiroshima bombing and it was a blast don't get me wrong, it's definitely a huge red flag for any sponsorships or even being associated with this person, but hey, it's pretty entertaining. But the reason I bring up these tweets is because Jalen acts like this angel who's basically immune to being criticized, even though stuff like this is said by her. Thoughts on toxic, um, how do you say that name? Distress, yeah. Never heard of that person before. Sounds like someone who's desperate for content. Jalen makes this point of toxic distress being desperate even though 54 of Jalen's videos are about YouTubers getting cancelled and 41 of Jalen's videos are on Dream. So this is an example of this guy's retardation. Another example of Jalen's hypocrisy is the Technoblade situation somewhere in August. I'm not going to call out Jalen for making the video in the first place because I don't really care since obviously there's going to be people who profit off of these tragedies. News outlets do it all the time. But what Jalen did a few hours after making this video on Technoblade's diagnosis, he calls out other YouTubers for doing the exact same thing and milking the situation with the tweet. These channels are already milking the Technoblade situation. If you're gonna make a video with the title I feel awful for Technoblade with the tags hashtag Technoblade, hashtag awful, hashtag drama, you have no right to call out others and act like you're morally better than them. I feel awful for Technoblade. <laughs> Jalen has a meltdown on Twitter every once in a while and in some situations she manages to pull the victim card. Maybe I should try not transitioning. I feel like that's what everyone wants. Jalen, you have to realize that nobody's talking about your gender identity until you mention it. People criticize you for your content or the things that you say in your tweets. When Jalen has a meltdown, she's like, oh, hey guys, I haven't been mentally doing well. Please forget about everything I said. My parents haven't been treating me right. Or hey, I'm trans. Even though it is kind of genius for doing that, faking mental health for sympathy, it's, it's really 
pathetic. In another situation that happened, Grimsy makes a video criticizing Jalen and on Twitter, Jalen talks about Grimsy and says, he's not trustworthy and he's transphobic and constantly makes videos on me and Scrimsox. Why do knows whatever Scrimsox did wasn't enough to be arrested and that Scrimsox addressed this years ago and when it happened, people moved on. Scrimsox is making a video soon. So you don't really need to know the full context of this tweet. It's a long story, but Grimsy replies, I don't like you because you're a bad person, not because you're trans. Jalen says, fine, I'll take the L. I shouldn't have threatened to report Grimsy's videos. I'm just really insecure and I hate that he keeps putting photos of me in his videos. I don't flag people. There's literally doxes of me up on YouTube right now and I don't flag it. Now here's a bit of context you need to know. In October, before this drama, Jalen uploaded a face reveal and then in November, Grimsy uses pictures of her face in the video and now Jalen is crying on Twitter about it. And yeah, this is another example of this guy's retardation. In that tweet, he talks about people doxing her but she doesn't take it down which confuses me because wouldn't you be more concerned if your address is out there on the internet instead of pictures that you published on the internet you can tell Jalen mentioned that people supposedly dox her but yet again simply votes you see A week ago, Jalen deleted Twitter and I respect that. It's very good to hear because I can agree in the video that Twitter is full of negativity and toxicity, but in the entire video, she acts like she didn't contribute towards the toxicity and when she made tweets like this, I want religion gone. I hope World War 2 happens to all religious people. Didn't realize that there's a lot of religious people in the commentary community. I keep blocking all of these losers. But yes, religion is a weakness and it's for the weak. Right now, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, boohoo, Jalen said the n-word, my life is over. But if you're gonna say the n-word, at least admit to it instead of calling people slanderous. YouTuber Mythical showed a screenshot of how many times Jalen has said the n-word and Jalen replies, I can debunk three of those. First off, I did nothing wrong in the Technoblade situation except respond to the backlash. Maybe I shouldn't have treated it like a normal video. And the n-word screenshot is completely fake. Alright, let's, let's give you the benefit of the doubt. Let's say all of these tweets that you've said the n-word in are fake. Toxic distress show dms of you saying the n-word aren't you all edgelords wow i said your mod can be transphobic to me but i can't say the word i said the word which means homie i didn't make a video on a black person calling them the n-word so in conclusion, Jalen's very dumb. I know Jalen will watch this video or in fact comment something dumb and try false flag the video and if so, that's cool, you proved my point. And for some reason, you're a big advocate of YouTube's policy on harassment and in supporting every single decision with their broken flagging system. Use this swiftness book just to give me a little... Subscribe. Merry Christmas, happy days, thank you for watching this video, take care, in a bit.